here in Milwaukee. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Milwaukee Brewers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And our pitcher in this game, Heath Taylor. Well, out 10 good. hits in his last start, and I know they're concerned about his mechanics. Maybe he's giving something away to the other side. Made some adjustments in between starts. Look for him to have a good one today. Swung on, out, belted. Way back there. And that one's gone. He rockets one to right. His 16th homer of the year. It's 1-0. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the base. Isaiah Kiner Falefa, the next pirate to hit, Up grounded out pirates. his first time. The third baseman. Let's roll it, huh? Kiner Falefa. You got it, you got it. Boom, boom. That takes care of Kiner Falefa. What a way. Now batter, left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Now here's the switch hitting power threat, Jay Mack. The batter, it's interesting he plays kind of a, a power Jay. spot defensively, Mack. but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that Taylor position, you're not back. expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. This one smashed down the right field line. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Into second with a double, and they've got something brewing now. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. So here's the cleanup hitter, Kevin Biggio. Good power. Now Not great Third in the OBP man. department. Yeah, Next offering is in for a strike. And I think that skill set really upgrades the position because when you have that kind of speed, it uh, makes the whole team that much better. Man, it's second. And now the count is even. What about him playing another position on defense, one that would require a little more range? Absolutely. And I think if push came to shove where they had to make a, a move during a game, it surprised a lot of people. You might even be able to put him in center field. Scott makes the catch. Yeah, there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a no little matter. bit. Couldn't Double quite two. barrel it up enough Second to really drive it. Yeah. So two down now, and here Come is on. Jazz Chisholm. Oh, for one right. so far. Come on now. One time. Let it fly, buddy. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first, and that is the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On to inning number four. It's the Brewers two, and the Pirates nothing. Jay Mack up now for the Brewers. Now batting, catcher. Jay, let it fly, let it fly Matt. right here. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Seat up and drive it Yelich up. over at second. Terang on at first with nobody come out. On, big guy. Get your pitch. On the ground, right side. Base hit. Yelich around third. Now a long throw home. Safe at the plate. And they lead by three. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated.
Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Anthony Solomedo. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and you get a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. He dives, but he can't make the catch. That leaves him without a throw, and they come away without an out. Jazz Chisholm now. The batter, number two, second baseman, Jazz Chisholm. Left hand batter there. waits. High in the air, out to right. Scott has this one sized up. Puts the squeeze on it. Both runners tagging from second and third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's 4-0. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Garrett Mitchell up now for the Brewers. One for two. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big hey, league level. One in the gap right here, huh? Next pitch misses way outside. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation or maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And a foul ball, he stays alive. First and third, one down. All right, one time right here. Big hit right here. Here we go. Next pitch in the dirt, and that's ball three. And he walked him. So the bases are loaded here, one man gone. Now batting Tristan Lutz. And Boog, I'd say he's due. The pitch popped up. It's a fly rule. Banners out. Now batting first baseman Jacob Nottingham. Up now for Milwaukee, right Jacob here, huh? Nottingham. Hey, let's go, and now up. the lefty. That misses the zone, two and two. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Come on, baby, get your pitch up there. Yeah, good rip on it, huh? At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and that is that. We're through five. It's the Brewers four, and the Pirates nothing. One away, runners at first and third. Jay Mack now at the now plate. Hey, and it may be a long shot, yeah. but a triple here will Matt. give him the cycle. Drilled out towards oh, left up, center oh, field. That's well struck. That's back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Another homer, and they add to their lead. It's seven nothing. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location. Next for the Brewers, Jay Mack. Now oh, batting. yeah, Pitcher. Boog. He's on the brink yeah. of one of your favorite milestones. Matt. He's completed three legs of the cycle. Go, I love me some right cycle. Here. First offering misses badly for ball one. One on count. Look for him to be aggressive here. You got some runners on base, an opportunity to catch a mistake and put some runs up on the board. 
Right hander kicks deals. On a line, base hit. Yelich flies around third. Just ahead of the throw, he scores. It's 10 0. Picks himself up at RBI. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Your on the mound now please. for the Pirates, now Doug Samuel. He pitched Number yesterday three. and we'll see him once Doug. again. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. The 1-1. One, one. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Righty delivers. That one fouled off. Two and two. All right, one time right here. And a pitch. Stays alive. Hey, let it rip. One time. Here's the 2 2. We got three and two. First and second, two one. down. Fouled off to the right. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Brewers 10 and the Pirates nothing. Andre Fuentes getting ready to hit for the fourth time tonight. The catcher. Two outs. Andre Fuentes. Matt gets under it. And that's the inning. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Brewers 10 and the Pirates 2. So they break into another level with this win streak at 10 now. I think the key is to maintain the focus because you can have this motivation to get to double digits and then have a letdown. They've got to try to just put out all the distractions, turn off the sports highlights, and come back out here and play baseball the way they've been doing it in the next game. And your final.